All right, guys, welcome to another video. This video is actually gonna be a little bit different. As you can see, I'm actually holding the camera. Normally the camera's sitting on a tripod because it's a little bit bigger. Obviously you can tell from the title of this video, I got a new camera and I'm not on it right now. I'm on my usual setup and I will show you, I have a mirror so I kind of show you, um, you know, the differences of what I'm doing now and what I usually do, which you probably are familiar with kind of the, the mic and that sort of setup right now. But I'll just give you a quick overview. I have a Canon T3i, which is the standard lens. Um, it's an 18 uh, to 55 millimeter lens. It's just the very, very basic um, Canon T3i setup. And right now I have one of those Joby Gorillapod, um, Casey Neistat style um, camera holders that I'm, that I'm on right now. You'll see it in a second. And um, I am mic'd up. This is just a one of the most basic microphones you can buy off of Amazon, to be honest with you. So that's the setup I normally use, and then I throw the camera on a tripod, and I do my thing, I wash my cars or whatever. But the biggest issue I was having, when I'm trying to do something, this camera doesn't have autofocus. So I have to manually change the focus on it. So if I go really close or further away, or want to zoom in, it it's blurry. And in a couple of my other videos, um, that I did like the debadging video. That's like a how-to. I want that to be perfect so you can see it um, as best as you can possibly see it, you know, the best quality. Um, so that stuff like that is just a huge gripe and I wanted something that was easier so I can bring it a little bit better content and more frequent content easier because I don't want this to be any harder than it needs to be. And I don't want the um, cameras, for example, to get in the way and I'm already switching hands like five times because I don't normally hold this huge thing. Um, I don't know how people do this all the time, but so I'm gonna show you my new camera and then I'm gonna switch back and forth so you guys can see. I'm gonna try to bring a little bit more like personal vlogging kind of things into the videos maybe here and there. So I needed this camera or I justified getting this camera. In addition to this, I'm gonna keep the T3i for now unless it just collects dust for months and months. I do like it because it takes uh, very good pictures and you can customize everything and I'm starting to understand how things work and why. So, um, and not to mention the ISO and the, the everything with this camera is, is fairly manual. So I'm a noob and I, I'm just having an issue and it's just getting in the way. So let me show you the camera. Okay, so this, if you know anything about cameras, you know that this is a G7X and obviously it's, See, I had to manually focus this thing because I'm a little bit closer. It's the Mark I, and it is used for like maybe a month. I bought it used. So um, it's in excellent condition. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And um, I, I just, I did enough research. It, you know, even just watching YouTubers alone, it seems like this is a very popular vlogging camera um, because it has, you know, almost... Uh, digital SLR quality, but within a very, very small package. It's pocketable, um, although you would kind of have a, a bulge if you put this in your pocket, but you're, you're able to bring this around where the big cameras um, just are much harder. All right, so here's a pretty good setup. I, I have the camera on the desk now. What I like about this thing is that um, you could flip this screen up here. So actually, you're, if you look in <laughs> the uh, screen of this, you can see what I'm looking at. Um, but it, it's, it's just so much smaller and, um, usable. And I, I, I just really like, I actually haven't used it yet. So let me switch over. Um, the reason I'm mic'd up is because I only want you to be able to see the difference of the camera I'm currently on, which I normally don't do like vlog style videos, but I'm going to try to incorporate a little bit of that here and there just to keep it, just to keep it kind of real and exciting. Um, so that's kind of, you know, the biggest reason I bought this is I'm holding it right now and I can easily move it around. Um, and I'll probably put it on this thing right here, just like a mini gorilla pod. This one's kind of weak, so I might get a better one, but, um, that's what I'm going to do. So let me put this on the tripod and, uh, let's do a comparison. Okay. So let's start on the current camera, which I was just holding like two seconds ago and I have the other camera in my hand. So let's switch to that. And now we're on the other camera. The audio should be I identical. Um, I'm gonna be trying to use the built-in audio for the new camera, um, just because syncing the audio and keeping everything organized, and I record it on my phone, and then I push it to Dropbox, and then I download it to um, iMovie, and then I, 
I sink it and it's a huge pain and I know it's that's like the probably one of the worst ways to do it but I haven't quite gotten to the point where I, I, I can invest in um, a really nice um, recording um, some recording hardware so uh, for now I'm gonna kind of go to the G7X which I'm on right now and I can even switch back to this one uh, the T3i which I still like um, but I don't know how people use this for, for an extended period of time um, so we'll see so I'm holding both cameras right now um, and you can see that the picture is different if I'm on the T3i um, I have the ISO freaking cranked guys and I Justin I'm sorry bro like it's out of whack it's the settings are probably not very good but if I flip back to the T3i I mean the colors in this thing um, and the image stabilization and um, it definitely has image stabilization which makes it you know nice and smooth man if I go from this T3i versus Canon man and that <laughs> kind of it's messy in here but we're gonna go into the living room don't mind that just watch the Indians game okay guys so this is gonna be kind of a, a really crazy video to record but here's the two setups I don't normally have this camera um, like it is you know it's totally Casey Neistat style but it's heavy and I don't know I'm, I'm a little sissy I, I don't like to hold a huge camera and um, the G7X, dude, this thing is, here, let me film with this and I will look on this. You know, this thing is, whoa, almost, <laughs> almost made a big oops here. And see, the focus still isn't right to manually do this damn thing. See, now that's better, right guys? So this thing, go back to this thing, I can move it up, you know, I can walk around a little bit, excuse the mail there. Um, but this is gonna be the new setup. I am, I'm totally digging it already. This thing, I'm sorry, this is probably gonna be, it'll either be an additional camera when I do, say if I'm doing just a maintenance wash, if I wanna do another one of those videos which got you know a decent amount of traction, you guys kinda of liked that. Um, I'll set this up and then the G7X will kinda of come with me, you know, I'll uh, bring close-ups and I'll do a lot more stuff like that. So it'll be much better than, um, with this huge camera that just doesn't focus. And I'm kind of going in and out of rooms on purpose just so when I'm editing, I can truly see, um, you know, like what's going on. And uh, the flip up screen is awesome. So I like this little pod. I can, oh, I did shoulders at the gym yesterday and now I'm holding. Might as well give you a little setup update. See, it is blurry. Okay, so it does have the, the auto focus um, feature. This is like my little editing um, area don't mind the makeup sorry totally forgot to put my makeup away but <laughs> um, standard 13 inch I really want to upgrade after the uh, new ones came out we'll see how that goes and uh, I did get a little something that I would recommend it's just from what I've read it's just a little wind filter so actually um, let's switch to the internal microphone right now because I'm gonna put this thing down um, and then we're just gonna film with that. I'm gonna do a little vlog. I'm actually gonna run to Home Depot to get um, Loctite because I'm doing the spacers on the Jeep tomorrow, hopefully. And um, I'm gonna get some, uh, like a rust wheel for my drill that I can knock off some rust from the frame and a couple of other areas that are, it's just gonna be much quicker that way. So let's turn the uh, regular mic on. If I didn't already do that, I don't know. I'm like instructing myself. Uh, let's apply this little wind sock thing. And guys, if you're wondering, the program I use on my phone is called Voice Record Pro. Um, and that's just really what it looks like. You know, you just um, you can press uh, record. Whoops. Press record here, and then it allows you to do uh, the different qualities. I always do high, and then uh, I just you just press record one more time, and then it goes. And then I sing it with Dropbox. There's the instructions right there. Pretty hard. So here's what the camera looks like. This is uh, this is me. Um, has a weird little fuzzy, so if I'm in public, people are gonna be a little freaked out. But um, hopefully the audio is good. I have no way of knowing, so if it's really crappy, I might keep it in. I don't, I don't know. I think that, I mean, it's just gonna block wind. Hopefully it doesn't actual, actually block 
good audio, it doesn't ruin the audio. I, I think I applied it right. Autofocus is like so nice, guys. Um, okay, so let's head to Home Depot. I'm gonna pick up a couple things. I'm only including this little trip just for fun, just to give you a little clue into how I conduct myself and uh, picking up some semi-car related things. Um, actually, let me show you the spacers. Ba -ba -da -bum. These are one and a half inch spacers. Hopefully you follow my channel. You know I have a 2005 Grand Cherokee. I just got a lift. Um, shocks. And I also got tires. So these are going to give it a more aggressive look. Wider stance. That'll be done tomorrow. Freaking love this podcast, guys. You didn't know? Check it out. So it looks a lot. Can't believe this place is open till 10. I like this one, but I wanted something better. I'm just going to go with this one. Successful chopping trip. Can't believe they're open until 10. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's vlog and, you know, new impressions of this brand new to me camera, G7X, if I didn't mention it, it's on point. So, uh, loving it. Guys, let me know what you think about this sort of, uh, I guess, less formal video, if you will. Um, there's gonna be plenty of how-tos and, um, you know, washing and kind of the uh, educational series type of videos. Those are gonna be as regular as I can make them, you know, given my time situation. Um, and then I'll throw these in or kind of mix them together a little bit, trying to evolve the channel as usual. So there's your update. There's the new camera, and that's gonna do it. So take care, and thanks for watching. Now that's what I'm talking about.